The vice president and these senators, these members, these representatives in the House are here with me today for an announcement. And let me warn you now, there won't be any questions. Just wanted to make this announcement. Nearly three months ago, I told the American people that we'd made dramatic progress in reducing the growth of federal spending, but that we need more time to get the job done. For too long, the legislative process has simply been overwhelmed by the powerful and relentless pressures for more spending. So I asked the Congress to pass, as soon as possible, a constitutional amendment requiring that it balance the federal budget. And today I have met with these key leaders pushing this bipartisan initiative in the House and Senate. On behalf of the public and our administration, I express to them our gratitude, the urgency we feel, and my eagerness to do everything I can to ensure their success. Senate debate on the proposed resolution will begin this afternoon. We're asking Majority Leader Baker, Senators Thurmond, Hatch, DeConcini, and Helms as leaders of the 61 co-sponsors to help us secure its passage as rapidly as possible. I understand that Representatives Conable and Jenkins were here are filing a discharge petition so the full House can consider their resolution. Then we send the amendment on to the states. All over America, citizens are asking each other the same question. Why is this government incapable of doing what their families, municipalities, and state governments do as a matter of course, spend within the limits of their revenues? 21 unbalanced budgets in 22 years is proof that our federal budgetary system needs fundamental reform. We must not and we will not permit prospects for lasting economic recovery to be buried beneath an endless tide of red ink. Americans understand that the discipline of a balanced budget amendment is essential to stop squandering and overtaxing. And they're saying the time to pass the amendment is now. And with that, just a thank you to these gentlemen here with me and to their colleagues for all that they're doing to uh, make this come about. And we intend that it shall come about once and for all. And uh, that's the end of statement, the end of our appearance here. Thank you all. I can't take any questions. If I open that up, we'll have a press conference here. So. We're just going to, what? Why don't you balance it now? Well, because I think that the built-in spending increase is too much for that. We, the amendment will speak for itself. Very good, Mr. President. You want to go? Right. We'll go in and talk. Hold on. <laughs> you see, if I stay here, I can't shake hands with you. <laughs> what about lifting the sanctions on Argentina? Grain <laughs> sale? Thank you.